What's up, guys? Welcome back to the, the this Let's Play. Um, last episode was very cursed. I think I possibly did everything wrong. I failed the investigation. I got two cops killed. And I got a... I wasn't able to respond to a robbery. Um, and the, which resulted in the clerk at the drugstore getting murdered. And, um, yeah, so it's a pretty good episode. Let's hop into this one. All City Hall employees awarded company cars for personal use. And that's what they're doing with the money that they've revoked from me and the police station. Nice. Love it. Love you guys. The real criminals right here, boys. We are in a corrupt society. We are in a systemically racist society that suppresses the growth of the middle class. Small drug dealers invade Freeburg. Freeburg to host semifinals of Youth Hockey League. Hockey, ho hockey League? Good work. Third time's the charm, Frank. Clutch. All right, so I need to hire two police officers. And um, this is our new detective, uh, Jackson, here. I hired them because I hired him because I didn't have enough people with mustaches um, on the force. So, um, or mustaches and no beard, I, I should say. So that's why we hired him. And only that reason. Choose a song. Oh, we could try to get a new song today. Are there any more? Yeah. Um, any on sale? They're all on sale. Ooh, late hour. Pierce Pickering Barrel House Jazz Band. I usually don't beat my kids, but if my daughter broke this record, she'd be in the hospital. Okay. Nice. Temptation Blues. Ooh, I like that. In ancient Greece, if a messenger brought news that this song was lost, they'd cut off not just his head, but the heads of his entire family. That sounds nice. Let's see that one. 500. Oh, shoot. I actually didn't look at the price. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Maybe it's a banger. Maybe this will inspire me to make my next song. Could be worth it. Hold on, City Hall. Let me just finish this tune and I'll get back with you in just a second. How are you guys enjoying your new cars, huh? Yeah. How are you liking those new cars? Oh, hey, Patches. Yeah, dude, these guys, what they did was they took money away from the police department as like some type of like punishment, I guess. Makes zero sense and it's completely illogical, but they use it to buy themselves new cars for personal use as if they didn't have enough cars. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of the Freeburg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. You, lo uh, I lost a job slot. Well, that's fine. I need to still need to actually hire a new c police officer. Let's get a good one. Uh, we got George Mitchell here. Ooh, like that. Oh, this guy looks cool though. Gage Hater. This guy looks very cute. Let's just uh, see if he wants to work for us. Which shift? Um, let me figure that out, actually. So we got a lot of cops here on shift A. Yeah, shift B. Oh, my gosh. There's nobody on shift B. So definitely shift B. Close. I might also want to transfer somebody over from shift A. I don't have all these guys getting upgraded, though. The, these two are at the school. These two are at a barbecue. Why does it say she's the coach? She's the only one at home right now. Um, yeah, I think I should. I think I should send somebody over. Let's send over Coachy Pretty. Could send Stovall over there. Maybe Robbins. Move to shift B. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And how about detectives? 
Yeah, we're good on detectives. Backlog. Take care of the hero. Oh, that's right. Um, our our uh, anti butthole sky butthole guy. What's his name? Beasley. He can't get hurt. So that's good. I wonder if that's random. Ooh, this is a cool looking detective. Oh, Marcus Yesel, this guy. That's that. That's a detective right there. Can't hire him though. Um, you have to wait five days between sending requests. I did ask for everything last episode. I guess I didn't get anything. That or I need to wait. Oh wait, here they are. Uh, Ray, City Hall cannot meet your requests. Okay. SWAT upgrade can't. Job slot detective can't. Job slot officer can't. Because they bought themselves new cars, you see. All right. Well, you know what? I don't need your help. Trespassing at a farm. Bill Buckler reports that two unidentified men snuck onto his farm and set fire to the barn. As the call came in, the two criminals were attempting to gain entry into the house. All right. Let's send in the Birch Boys, Stovall, and that'll work. Still trying to rank up the Birch Boys. It's really all that I care about, to be honest, because I've lost everything else that's been close to me has died. What's up? What's next? What investigations are we working on? Can I uh, pop another person in here? Kind of want to throw somebody on it there. Get on that. Can I get another one? I can kind of move detectives around. So while they're not doing anything, I feel like let's she's definitely needs to be on this. Um, I'm going to leave Beasley out of it just because I'm he's my uh, he's the but the not butthole uh, and they said that bright star. I wonder what happens if I just throw all these guys on there, if they'll get me a bunch of frames. I don't know. Still trying to learn. Patches, go lay down. Go lay down. All right, this is at the farm. There are no signs of the criminal near the house. The front door has broken down and shadows lurk inside. Oh, no. Go through the front entrance. Go to the back door. Come out with your hands up. Hmm. I kind of like go to the back door here. I wish I could do both of these. Could go through the front entrance, too. I like going to the back door here. I'm going to go to the back door. Oh my gosh. I was really holding my breath there. Nice job, guys. Birch Boys and Stovall. Name a better trio. Theft at Everyday Mall. A drug addict attempted to hide an expensive bottle of liquor under his jacket. When he was caught, he began to throw a fit. All right, then, doll. Sounds like a good job for you and Herc. Go get him, boys. Show us what you're made of. We don't need the city hall's money because we got morals and we're not corrupt. Even though I have helped the mafia a couple times, but don't tell me that 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 that, that, that that's corrupt, because I'll tell you that, I, that 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 it's not. Christopher G. Sand, Jack, one of our new guys tried to rape our accountant. We locked him up in a hotel room, but he's threatening to hand the whole organization over to the police. I think it's time he talks to a police officer face to face. What? 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 This makes no sense. So somebody tried to rape their accountant. They locked him up, but he says he's going to hand the whole organization over to the police, which is what I want. That's what I want to happen. I want to take you down, Sand. So what's he's do you want me to kill him? All right, Grant. I think I'm going to send Grant. Or do I want to send somebody better? Like Samadhi, maybe? Samadhi's got two stripes for some reason. Why does Samadhi have two stripes? <laughs> Could uh, have Stovall talk to him. I, I don't know what this means. Uh, this is really vague. Like what I want to happen here is that I send an officer, talk to him, arrest him, um, punish him for trying to rape their accountant, um, allegedly, 
And then uh, give me some dirt, man. Give me some dirt on sand. How do I take them down? Um, so do I need to, or am I going to send a cop and then the game is just going to kill this guy and have one of my cops kill him and then have PTSD and quit? Like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what to do. Well, let's send Stovall. He's professional. He'll know what to do. It's my best cop. Report at the everyday. Nice. We got him. That was a open and closed case. What's next? Hit me with it. All right. Jack, we got something going on today at the city center at 1839. Let me write that down. Okay, at the city center. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think $1,000 should be enough for such a request. Only 1000 well, we'll see. Again, I'm trying not to help you do anything too bad. But I also don't want you to kill me, so I have to kiss your ass a little bit. Assault with a deadly weapon at the, in a parking lot. Uh, a woman reports that she saw a... Striking him around the legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No shit, I'm gonna do it. She believes she saw a pistol sticking out of the belt. I'm actually not sure what that slur is or who it refers to, but I'm just not gonna read it. Um, that is to say, I'm not upset at this game or the developer for putting like racial slurs and stuff in the game and talking about rape and stuff. I mean, I don't know. That stuff doesn't really bother me personally. Um, I think it kind of adds to it because this is what police deal with is this type of stuff, I think. But um, regardless, for some reason, I felt like mentioning that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to make this not another cursed gameplay. Let's play uh, episode. So I don't know what's going on here. Uh, someone was attacking somebody else, uh, striking his legs, yelling, I'll beat you till you're dead, freak. No shit, I'm gonna do it. At least you saw a pistol sticking out of their belt. Okay. Um, so we can't send SWAT. We'll go ahead and send Vendal, Grant, and Samadhi. Because there's a gun. We think there's a gun, so send three. That seems appropriate. Oh, this is Sans Ranch. <gasps> The Mafia will falsify a special crime in progress. Report and all the officers who arrive at the scene will be killed. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. I don't... I'm not doing any of that. I thought maybe I could go uh, start an investigation on sand. That's what I really want to do. Oh, yeah. Do I have any... Can I do any of this? I don't have enough money. Okay. Okay, what's gonna happen? Looks like not a whole lot's been going on today. I was trying to raise 10 one, to pop oh, this is wait. This is Sans thing. Crap. Crap. Assault with a deadly weapon. Oh, the okay, this is where they're attacking somebody. So I can make him retreat, I'll get a thousand. I'm gonna take them in. Wanna send the Birch Boys? Let's send the Birch Boys. In progress. Uh, attempted murder at the city center. No, this is what's going on. Okay, good. This is this is what Sand's doing. All right, a man in an expensive suit is lying in the street. It seems he's been shot, but no one saw who shot him or from where. The man is still alive and an ambulance is on the way. A man in an expensive suit. So what, they tried to kill somebody? Or they shot me? He got sniped, maybe? So what do I do here? Do I ignore this? Or do I try to get in there? Hmm. This is tough. This, this is really pulling out my morals here. 
I feel like it's a little too vague for me to respond to. But at the same time, I have to respond to it. I, I'm afraid if I only send like two cops to it, that one of them or both of them could die. All right. Hmm. <laughs> He's only gonna give me a thousand too for it. So I'm curious what other people would do here. It would be fun to do another let's play of this and then like choose the, the dirty cop route. Also, I feel like City Hall is more corrupt than anything else going on. Although Sand has killed a lot of people. I don't think City Hall hasn't directly killed anyone. Well, I guess their lack of funding for the police department to buy their own vehicles probably has resulted in some deaths. So City Hall is pretty bad. Anyways, I might let this... No, I'm, I can't let it slide. I can't let this slide. I'm going to leave Stovall here to hold down the fort. And hopefully, if they need more help, they'll ask for more help. And I'll have some of my other officers back by then. That's my hope, and my fingers are crossed. And I'm shaking for some reason. We've got a situation here. Uh, Sergeant Sand Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, so this is the, the guy in the suit that I think got sniped. All right. The man was just being placed on the stretcher when another shot rings out. This time the shooter finished the job. Oh, so they, okay, he shot him again. His firing position could not be determined, but the shots are clearly coming from one of the skyscrapers. Rush the skyscraper on the left. Rush the skyscraper to the right. Carefully observe the area. I think I'm going to carefully observe the area. Oh, we caught him. Uh-oh, that could get me in trouble with sand. Oh, well, you know, I'm doing my duty. Be the change. Be the change you want to see, guys. Hashtag be the change. Hashtag Babs. Get it trending, guys. Please get it trending, please. I need the publicity. Please, please subscribe. All right. Saw with a deadly weapon. Oh, they got away. All right. Nobody was hurt. That's what matters there. Nobody was hurt. He got away. We'll get him next time, but nobody was hurt. Man, I send a lot of cops to that, too. You guys kind of suck. You, what? Every last one of you sucks, except for you, Samadhi. You're pretty cool looking. Attempted robbery. Uh, Eight-year-old Kevin is at home alone, hiding under the bed. Unknown persons are gathered outside the apartment door. That sounds scary. It's probably not a big deal, but you never know. That could be a big deal. All I have is Stovall. Let's see how much time I have. I got 20 seconds. I'll wait for uh, another officer to come back, and we'll go. Okay. Send Stovall and Herc. Yeah, we'll send Herc. Proceed. All right. Is there anything I can do? Anything else I can be doing over here? I feel like I'm constantly, like, missing things I should be doing. Am I a fool? Do I, can I hire more cops? No. So I keep revoking my slots. Buttheads. Oh, when do I get Mitchell? As Did I hire him for shift? I hired him for shift B. So not yet. All right. Uh, I don't know. If I'm missing something, I'm missing something. I don't have any money to do anything with my deputy. All right. I guess we'll just wait. Oh, what's this? Oh, he's disappointed. Jack, we don't know why you did it, but we hope you had a good reason. Don't forget who your friends are. We don't want any more trouble. All right. At least he's not threatening me yet. We haven't pushed, got that far. Uh, oh, we got a new frame. Let's go. Just one frame? All right. Well, it's going to be this. And then it, I need the, the frame where she's throwing the Molotov. So I can't can't do that yet. At least we got a frame though. I was trying to raise 10 so Okay. The situation's more serious than we thought, requesting reinforcements. So Stovall and Herc. 
I don't remember what. Oh, this is this the one where the kid was. Yeah, this is the kid hiding on the bed. Okay. We're coming, buddy. I'm coming. Let's send the Birch Boys. The Birch Boys. That way it's guaranteed to fail. Hashtag Birch Boys. Hashtag be the change. Hashtag Babs. Get it trending. <clears throat> Sorry, I was just grabbing a drink. Uh, attempted robbery. Oh, oh, they were trying to rob the house the kid was in. Well, good thing we sent everyone. Nice job, guys. Good job, Birch boys. Birch Jr. is really pulling out ahead. When I started, I'm pretty sure that Birch Sr. had a higher rank than uh, Birch Jr. Oh, that's the end of the day. Felt like a quick one. <clears throat> um, all I can do is ask these guys to work the next day. Wow, dude, I got like no cops. What happened to all my cops? And Robins, I have, I'm having work tomorrow from shift A, I think. Yeah, or I'm having him move to shift B. Well, somebody's gonna have to work tomorrow. Maybe Vandal, Samadhi, I'll have Samadhi do it. And maybe Birch Jr. Yeah, Birch Jr. too. And that'll leave me in case those guys can't work the following day, I'll still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cops. And then that'll give me one, two, three, four, five. I might need to do somebody else might need to work tomorrow too. The Stovall's probably going to be tired because he's kind of old. I think he uh, tires quicker. Same for Birch. Yeah, I don't want to push it. We'll try to get by with this. Why do I have so many detectives over here? And only two over here. I literally don't know. I'm confused by how this works. <gasps> Cussing. I thought that was a quick day. In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's gotta be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. Wow. Mm. You look even better than you do Varga. on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, mm -hmm. artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My Who's head this? was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, <clears throat> sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vikis Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. Another big time he criminal. Out of nowhere. And with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed traded what could not be traded and robbed those who could not be robbed in just a single month this man had gathered an incredible amount of power he's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius and more often than not he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas all of those descriptions are Vargas contradictory one of the old crime bosses he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river 
Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Well, you know my name. I'm flattered, although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Jeez. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. Mm -hmm. This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. <laughs> Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. What is going on? My I'm going to need more than three can. numbers. I'm here to stay. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was all about. Hopefully somebody that can help me out, because City Hall isn't going to help me out. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for sticking in there. Uh, I feel like we're getting pretty close maybe to the end of the game. Not sure. Seems like maybe a few more days. I don't know. I kind of hope uh, I'm wrong about that. Uh, I'm enjoying the game and uh, kind of don't want it to end yet. I feel like there's a lot of lot of stuff to to unfold and um, I'm really hoping I get to take down sand and stuff but the more the time goes on I feel like this is kind of a game that is just supposed to be really depressing and not have a happy ending um, but we'll see I really don't know anyways so I'm going to end it right there and until next time I'll see you guys next time I said next time twice bye guys